today we are going to discuss the date plot so first of all import the package util import java dot util dot star and then you have to make the class public public class date and then you have to make the main method public static void main string that is the array of string arguments and then you have to make the object of date class date d is equal to new date and now we will print this date system dot out dot print line and just write d and now run it by pressing shift f6 so here we have got the wednesday that is a day and then we have got the day that is a month and then date and then the time and here pdt means specific date daylight time and 2013 is the year so as we know that the landmark time has been set once again 1970 for all of the computer in order to see that you have to type here date d 1 is equal to new date and here you have to put 0 0 0 okay and then you have to write merge date system dot out dot print line and then you have to pass the object d1 and now run it shift f6 and now note here here in my computer the landmark time is has been set wednesday 31st December and 1969 and if we want to increase one day then what we have to do we have to write date d2 is equal to new date and there we have to write as this whole this one takes the milliseconds so in order to increase by one day you have to write 24 multiply by 60 multiply by 60 and it will increase the one day only and only if we will multiply it 1000 that is it means these are to other total milliseconds and which are equivalent to one day one day extra so here we are going to print out system dot out dot print line and then d2 okay and now press is everything okay here shift f6 so note here earlier the landmark time was when is the 31st december and after increasing it by one day it has become jan 1 now in order to see the total milliseconds from the landmark time you have to type long n is equal to d dot get time okay here we go so now in order to print system dot out dot print line and then we have to print out n so shift f6 so see here these are the total milliseconds from the landmark time to the current time so how much millisecond has been passed from the 31st december 1969 to the 24 july 2013 it has been presented here there is also 
one function that is the before and after so as we note here this one this one is the current time and this one is the time one day extra from the landmark that is somewhere 1st jan 1970 and it is 24th july note here 2013 and if we are going to write out system dot out dot print line d1 dot o d1 dot after d2 here we will write d d dot after d2 so after and before these are the two functions which will return you the boolean that is true or false as you know that it is a current time and it is after this d2 and it will surely return you the true value so we will write shift fx so note here and if we are writing system dot out just copy it control c control v and there you will write d dot before ok now run it shift f6 there you note that we now you may be wondering how to format the date so in order to format the date you have to write simple date format format date is equal to new simple date format and then you have to type the date dd and then mm here mm should be capital small mm represents minutes then year 1 2 3 4 year and then for the time you have to write sh r small mm minutes ss second and in order to display it as am or pm you have to write a for am and p for pm so here here i am writing a and e e is used to display the day and z z is used to display the pst that is specific standard time which is running at a current which is running current now okay so now you have to convert it into string 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 k is equal to g dot format so you have to call this function format and in it you have to pass the object d okay so now you have to write system dot out dot print line and k note here g defines the format and how we want to display that is to which date we want to apply this format that is to the current date that's why on running it we will get run anyway what error ok i have to import the java.txt.simple or you can import the all the package all the classes in the particular package right now shift f6 so right now i have got this now next